Hello everybody! Hello, hello! This is Courtney from Dandelion Branding and welcome to the Dandelion Branding channel. If this is your first time here, Dandelion Branding is a digital marketing agency that works with sustainable brands. And on this channel we also have a podcast called Environmental where we talk about different issues around sustainability. Thank you so much for being here and today I have something really really exciting to talk to you about. <laughs> it's exciting for people who like efficient systems and that's me. So um, I want to talk about this incredible platform. Um, it's actually a Google Chrome extension and it is entirely free and oh my goodness, this will save you so, so, so much time. So today I want to talk about the free Chrome extension that is called Tango. This tool is so incredibly helpful for folks who are creating process docs. Maybe if you are hiring or uh, bringing on new team members and you need to train that staff on current processes, maybe you just need to establish some kind of SOP, standard operating procedures, and just have more documented processes in your business, this extension is for you 100%. All you have to do is walk through the process that you're trying to document one time and it will track everything that you clicked or interacted with throughout that process, give a little bit of description as well as a screenshot and screen recording of each step. I'll do a little bit of a walkthrough to show you exactly how it works, but I'm just really excited to share this with you. I hope that you can utilize this tool. I think it is awesome and we love a good time saver. We know that documenting as you're growing your business and making sure that things happen in a consistent way every time can be quite a challenge. And when you're trying to write a process from memory, but you've maybe done it, you know, a hundred thousands of times, it can be really easy to miss steps. I know I definitely have made mistakes in process docs that I've made because you kind of, um, you kind of can miss some little details because you're just so used to doing it. And that's why a program like this is so helpful because it tracks every click that you made. It'll ensure that it is as detailed as the process really is when the user is going through it. So let's jump into it. <laughs> Alrighty, so here is an example. I'm gonna show you how to use Tango. Um, as if I was trying to teach someone how to add a new blog post. So I have Google Chrome here, and then I'm going to click on the extension Tango, Capture Workflow. And the capture has started, it's down here. Um, so everything that is orange is what's highlighted. So if I click on anything, it will keep track of what I clicked on. So I'm gonna just pretend like I'm teaching someone to add a new blog post. So I would tell them to click to add new, test title, then write content in here. And we could tell them how to create an SEO keyword, uh, key phrase, perhaps how to write a meta description. Um, and then let's say we wanted to get rid of there. Let's say we wanted to add a featured image to that blog article. Let's just say this one. And then we would click publish if this was real, but it's not. So I don't want that going up on our blog, <laughs> but that's save draft. Okay. So if we've finished the workflow, then you'll see a little 14 here. That means it's tracked 14 steps. It didn't seem like that many steps if you were writing them yourself, <laughs> but it's tracked every click. So I'm going to go ahead and click complete here and then we, it will open up um, a new workflow. Oh, confetti. Love it. So 
Now you have the ability to change the title, to add descriptions or additional details to any of these steps. But essentially that first step was to, you know, go to Dandelion WordPress. Then if we had first clicked on posts, it would have chosen that miss that step. That's a good one. Um, but then click on add new. That's correct. Type in, let's just say, um, I would probably change that to blog title. Um, type in highlight again, I would write type in the description and, of, and the content there. Um, these are quite literal. So of course, when you're actually going through the word you know, all the workflow, you can make them much more specific and, or, or rather more kind of general, like type the SEO keyword here, not literally type SEO keyword. You know what I mean? Um, but you can have a description of like where you would get that SEO keyword and kind of things like that, which would then could then have its own totally own workflow. Um, and this doesn't have to be a website that you own or anything like that. You can create a workflow really anywhere. So any on any site, no matter how you use it, you can use the Tango extension to kind of follow along as you're browsing on the internet and how you're interacting with any web page. Um, and then you can either save this workflow or click share and export. And you can invite people by email, you can copy the whole thing. Um, it really nicely transfers into Google doc form. Um, you can embed it, you can download it as a PDF. Um, it gives you so, so many options. So, um, I just think that this extension is so incredibly helpful and can definitely help to really streamline the internal processes and process docs that you might be creating. So, wow right? Can you believe it? <laughs> How cool is that, right? So cool. So definitely, definitely recommend Tango. It is a Google Chrome extension. So if you are a Google Chrome user, then it is free for you to install and start using. There is a pro version that does have some paid features, kind of allows for unlimited number of workflows and things like that. Um, but the free version as of right now is very, very generous. So um, definitely worth checking out and getting those process docs created to help strengthen your business and allow for you to grow and bring on more help. Sounds good, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.